Hi guys, welcome to part 2. Ni part 2 kwa sababu eh tukifanya hiyo interview tumesikia sikia nja and then Steve akatupeleka na kuambia tumetoka lunch na tumekula seafood. Mi kwanza nimekula prawns. Kimbeni pale IG uh, Doris underscore mutwa muone pictures ya uh, food yenye tumenunua na Steve. Na Steve by the way, if place inaka vizuri sana. Si mama Doris, nini nini mianza kuchoma? Niambie si mimi ni beshte yako, niambie si mama. Hapana. Ama wash wash. Hapana. Ama ulienda kuomba uko shaka hola. Kwa pasta makenzi. Ama ama ume join Kakal TV. Juu. Hi. Yaani the last time tulifanya interview was like I think 4 weeks ago ama 5 weeks ago and mimi naona everything has changed. Ni Mungu. Hey. Ni God manzi. Ni God kila time, kila yeah. siku la. Yeah. Alafu sijui kama mkuu kiona story yenye imekuwa ikigwa around ya yeah. Pastor Ezekiel. Mm. What can you say about it na Pastor Mackenzie? Mm. Eh, eh, acha niongelele Pastor Mackenzie kwanza. Hiyo <laughs> yake nayo ni noma. Hiyo hiyo yake labda kurogwa. Eh, yeah, but sana sikia wako na connection na Ezekiel which me sijui. Eh, yeah, but hiyo Mackenzie noma. Mimi nda share personal experience yangu na Ezekiel. Ah uh, yeah, Ezekiel Odero. Eh, uh, New Life. Yes. Mimi last year nilikuwa na struggle mentally kiasi. Yeah. Mbaya sana, I was at a bad place. So tukajaribu mambo zote zenye tungejaribu as a family, uh, tukalemewa. So Made akaniambia yo, si tushuke mavueni. Eh, Ukaombe na huu pasi nimekuwa nimkiona online. Of course at first mimi nilikuwa zile za mimi mambo ya kuombe wana pasi sijui pasi ya najuli hapana pamadhi haka nibembeleza na shosho au ni watu nasikiza nga sana so mi nikashuka pale nikaenda adi mavueni bado nikio nimejam mi mama mstaki mambo but nilikuwa tu nataka help pia mi juu nilikuwa na shindo andato kaji kwa ingori juu mental health na wina kwa kitu tricky adi we mwenye ujuangi nini inakukula so mi nilenda pale of course tukatua hizo sacrifice wa seu utoa Sacrifice. Eh, hizo ma hizo mado. Si kuna wanazitanga sijui zinaitangwa nini. Si tithe, ni sacrifice. Unapea God sacrifice ya 5k, ya 10k, ya 12k. So I guess si tulitoa 5k cash kwa sei. Tulikuwa na do pia hiyo time. Uh, na kulikuwa na wasee most mbaya. So Uh, so pia wase pia walikuwa wametoa hizo 5 hizo 5k 10k whatever. Mimi hadi nilikio huko nilikuwa napiga hesabu. Mm. After sasa tumetoa do. Mm. Kwa piga hesabu juu unajua mabasha zimekuwa hapo chini mm. na ni za do mingi mingi na wase unachikimsi amechukua basha ya 12k. Kuna special bahasha. So mimi nilikuwa napiga hesabu. Nikachomoka tu na basket moja. Yeah? Ni vile tu ni church, ni vile tu ni church. <laughs> Alafu pia kuna security so wezi hapa. Eh, yeah, but my personal experience with Uh, Ezekiel. Mimi na thani maombi yake ilifanya kazi manze kwa life yangu. Jo for that nilienda Ocha. So Ocha pia nikaendelea kuombewa na mapasi wa home na maombi za mam shosho. So mimi sijui story ya Ezekiel na, na connection yake na Mackenzie. Ba mi mi hati yangu mimi vile na feel mimi na thani Ezekiel anapiga shughuli safi. Eh ni ile sasa maybe eh, wealth yake imekuwa mingi. Wasio wameanza ku feel. You know Juni mse wasi wanampea ngadi mita mse anampatia ofari ya 1m 1m mse anampea tithi ya ya 2m so i think ni yo but kama wameshikana na makenzi for sure Ezekiel uh, ako kwa hizo deals za makenzi then i'm really disappointed in him jumi nilikuwa naamini ya Ezekiel nilikuwa najua huni mse wa god huni mse anaongea na god god anasikia lakini kama ni ukweli wanafanya deals na makenzi na anafanya vitu chafu ah then i'm very disappointed in him but i'm hoping si kweli so is steve a christian like you are saved uh, mimi sema kuna kuokoka na kuna kukua na a good relationship with god uh, mimi siwezi sema ni miokoka because uh, kuokoka i think ina maanisha you don't sin ufanyangi mambo mbaya mbaya Okay, me I, I believe everyone is a sinner. So kwa kuokoka kidogo, labda ile tuliokolewa na Yesu kwa msalaba, hiyo hiyo niko part of it. But ingine ya kuombewa uokoke, hiyo sijaielewa vile inaendanga. But then I have a very good relationship with God. Mimi naamini kila kitu yenye u happen kwa kwa life yangu. Doris kukuwa hapa saa hii na team yake, kufanya hii interview, ni mpango tu ya God. Steve ku trend, Steve kufika mahali amefika, you know. 
everything that I do, everything that happens in my life, mean I'm meaning it to God. So I can say, uh, I have a personal relationship, a, a good personal relationship with God. Now maybe, maybe, maybe ndo maana nimefika mali nimefika. Alafu by the way Steve, sijui kama umeona maandamano is now back. Una feel aje kusuyo? Uh well, imekuwa na itakuwa. So yes, ina to affect sisi wana biashara, sisi watu wa chini hustlers. As much as it's meant kukutetea, sisi ndo tuna suffer most. I think hata wewe inakuwa ngumu kwa kwa kumove around Nairobi. Uh, so maandamano really ningeulizwa eh tutafutia better way ya ku deal na gava and issues in to face sababu now it's affecting us business people. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much Steve. Mm-hmm. And guys, kama mnakumbuka last time pia tukimaliza interview yetu, niliwa promise tu mimi nitafanywa massage ndio niwaambie kama anakula stock. Last time tulifanya massage na stock haikukuliwa. So pia this time tutafanya massage and then nitawaambia kama stock inakuliwa. Yeah. Juu mimi ni yule demwenu wa stories za 254 na lazima ni wale test story venye iko. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for supporting us. See you on the next one. Bye.